When you first start a YouTube channel, you're probably asking yourself, how do I get more views? How do I get more subscribers? How do I get more people to care about the things that I'm making and putting up on this platform? Well, there are a few different types of strategies that work particularly well for new YouTubers. And I have found that some work better in different kinds of niches. Some work better for different kinds of channels. But overall, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a few different strategies that I've found help growing your YouTube channels, especially as a new YouTuber. Let's get into it. Now, the first strategy is search-based content. YouTube is the world's second largest search engine, only behind its parent company of Google. When people are looking for something, they either go to Google or they go to YouTube. And sometimes they integrate into itself. So if you have a niche or you have a topic that you want to talk about, consider answering the most search questions for that niche. For me, it's what's the best microphone for YouTube? What's the best camera for YouTube? How do I grow a YouTube channel? That is my search-based strategy. Search-based strategies aren't necessarily glamorous because it doesn't blow you up overnight like some other strategies that we're going to talk about, but it's really good for evergreen content and that will live on for the long haul in the future. And if you're wondering what the best search terms are for my niche, I'll leave in the description box below a tool called TubeBuddy, which helps you identify what are the great search words for your niche. Now, the next strategy is the browse strategy. And that strategy is trying to get your videos on somebody's homepage because that's where most videos come from. Most views come from browse or suggested, but mostly browse. And browse is essentially anything on the homepage and your recent watch history and somebody's playlist and your own playlist and your watch later playlist. This strategy involves you trying to make the most appealing video for your audience. Sometimes it's using keywords and sometimes it's going against the grain of your particular niche. At the end of the day, in order to succeed in the browse strategy, you need to focus on what's gonna make your audience tick. What makes them drive? What's gonna make them click on your video? I think it's kind of the hardest, uh, especially when you're starting out, but it definitely has the highest reward. It can get you the most amount of views. Looking at my analytics, you can see most of my views are coming from browse. If you can figure it out in your own niche, more power to you, and you'll see your skyrocketing views and your channel growing. Now the next strategy is suggested. Now suggested are the videos that are appearing over here if you're on desktop or down below this video if you're on mobile. You the viewer are gonna like those or those videos the most because people like you who have watched this video already like these videos and watch these videos or these videos, you get what I'm saying. So in order to successfully utilize the suggested strategy, you wanna take some videos that are already working on the platform that are kind of in your niche. See what kind of videos those are. If it's a reaction type video, maybe you can have a reaction video as well on that same topic. Because if those two videos are similar, there's a good high chance that that might get suggested next to it. Or alternatively, if you hear a tips video like this and you completely disagree with me, maybe you, you do your own tips video that says, you know, this person, Ryan, is wrong and here's why. Great thing for a suggested reel as well because those videos are linked. Or maybe you just recreate a video from your favorite creator and I've done that a few of them and there's a link for that video in the description box below. But in order to do the suggested strategy right, you're gonna wanna find a video or a group of videos in your niche and try to piggyback and build your content around those existing videos so they'll get attached to one another through the suggested feed. Now, those are the three main type of sources where views come from. There's some other strategies that kind of implement and go in and out of all three of those strategies but aren't necessarily tied directly to your YouTube analytics. Now, the next strategy is the YouTube Shorts strategy. YouTube Shorts came out a few years ago, and when it hit the scene first, it blew up channels. Like, everybody was making shorts and getting thousands of views, thousands of subscribers, seemingly overnight for something like a video of a boat coming into a harbor. Now, YouTube Shorts have changed a little bit over the past couple months, and even YouTube has gone on the record recently saying that it actually doesn't necessarily work to get your YouTube long form videos in front of your short viewers. Now shorts can blow up channels, but I'm not 100% sold on that. And I made a whole dedicated video to that in the description box below if you wanna go find out more information on shorts. And at this point, I'm just rambling because I'm in the middle of doing daily uploads, which leads me to my final strategy for growing on YouTube which is daily uploads. Now, daily uploads was popularized by Casey Neistat back in 2000, I don't know, like 16, 17? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't necessarily remember. But daily uploads is a good strategy because it gets one, a lot more content out there. And two, if you do it right and 
people are watching your videos every month, the YouTube algorithm will see that. And they'll say, hey, this channel is doing really good and boost up your views and hopefully your subscribers with it. Now I will say I am in the middle of doing this right now and it is a grind and a half. You have to be resilient and you have to wanna to grind for it because doing daily uploads is a haul. But if you wanna really grow on this platform, Casey Neistat said it best. Five years, 500,000 subscribers. Then I started uploading daily. And in five months, I had 500,000 more subscribers. That's one million subscribers. Five years for the first 500,000, five months for the second 500,000. Now that was a few years ago, and we're still in the middle of this challenge here, quite literally in the exact middle of this challenge. So we don't know if it still works in 2022 or beyond. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll find out the answers to whether or not daily uploads work or not. And in the meantime, check out my latest video on my YouTube filming setup. Pretty cool stuff over there. And I'll see you over there.